Ought implies can. A person is not morally responsible for an action which he is unable to avoid. For example, if somebody shoves you into another person, you're not responsible for bumping into him. You had no choice. But Sam Harris believes that all of our actions are causally determined and that there is no free will. Dr. Harris rejects not only libertarian accounts of free will, but also compatibilistic accounts of freedom. But if there is no free will, then no one is morally responsible for anything. In the end, Dr. Harris admits this, though it's tucked away in the end notes of his volume. Moral responsibility, he says, and I quote, is a social construct, not an objective reality. I quote, in neuroscientific terms, no person is more or less responsible than any other for the actions they perform. His thoroughgoing determinism spells the end of any hope or possibility of objective moral duties because on his worldview, we have no control over what we do. Thus, on Dr. Harris's view, there is no source of objective moral duties because there is no moral lawgiver and no possibility of objective moral duty because there is no free will. Therefore, on his view, despite his protestations to the contrary, right and wrong do not really exist. 